Yo, what up? My bad, dude. Yeah, I was planning the stream and then I decided I'm probably not going to stream and then last minute I was like, you know what? Even if it's short, let me stream a little bit. Can you hear me okay? I up my uh I up my mic volume slightly. Uh I'm only worried because I have my AC and fan running and sometimes I can hear it on the VODs, so up in my mic up, I'm worried that it might be like loud or something. But I think that's mostly with wearing headphones. What up, homie C? You can, but the game is a tad loud. Dude, I'll be completely honest. I don't know how to lower it. <laughs> it's like, through, uh, like, streaming PS4, I have no idea how to lower, like, the actual game volume. Like, I could lower my, uh, my monitor volume, but I, I don't know how to lower the actual game on the stream. Your mobile data is not great. Oh, damn. See, I never checked what it's, what it, like, streams at. Oh, 35. 3,500. Kisune ninjas his way into the stream, rips off his tearaway pants, and starts a pants off a dance off in chat. Was on fire. Uh, it's gonna. This is gonna be relatively short. It's already almost 6:30, and I probably, at the minimum, will stream for about an hour. Uh, hopefully more, but we'll see. The longest it's gonna be, I mean, if anything, it'll be like an hour and a half. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start. Uh, let me. I'm just gonna tweet really quick. Uh, short stream. Put stream more heavy rain. None of nothing fancy. Let's find a funny, funny GIF. I usually get super worried when I talk to people when I'm on the mic, hoping, uh, hoping no one can hear background noise. That's the only thing about, uh, streaming in general is trying to block background noise is a little bit hard. The good thing is that I'm using a, uh, so if you know the differences between microphones, uh, the, like, the two main ones are, um, I think it's, is it cardioid? No, not cardioid. Um, uh, anyways, I'm using a dynamic mic, which is, think of it as, like, a karaoke mic. So in order for it to sound okay, you gotta be pretty close to it, right? That's basically the type of mic I'm using. So anything remotely far away from the mic, uh, you guys won't really be able to hear me. Like there'll be a big difference if I, I put a gap between myself and the mic. Whereas like the typical mic that most people use on Twitch are the opposite, which are like the super sensitive mics where you can be, you know, you can create some distance from the mics, but the, uh, the flip side of that is that it is super sensitive and people will basically be able to hear 
everything inside of your house or something. Like noises outside your room. kind of mic is called that specific mic that's I mean I had this I had the same type of mic prior to that the one that I replaced uh, condenser it's called a condenser mic so condensers are very very sensitive and dynamic mics are not so much but you have to be very close to it Alright, I am ready. Are you ready? Uh, yo, I got a good time. Communications man on Xbox. Thanks to two salty ex guild mates. The man funny. I'm sorry to hear that, man. That, su that sucks, dude. I mean, why are they in your guild? Hitting us with the mic meta. <laughs> Alright. I mean, I, I don't know a lot, but, you know, I know a bit. Okay, continue. So we're basically continuing off from... Uh, this is like right after we were supposed to chop off her finger. We heard from the police who have identified the man thought to be the origami killer. Ethan Mars, father of the kidnapped Sean Mars, is on the run and should be considered armed and dangerous. A police manhunt is now underway, and they hope that they will soon be able to announce the apprehension of this dangerous lunatic. I have to see this again? <sighs> I brought some food. I didn't know what you liked, so I brought some of everything. I, I hope that's okay. Uh, help? Why are you helping me, Madison? You know nothing about me. You could have been killed. I don't know. I guess it just seemed like the right thing to do at the time. You needed help. I helped you. You're all over the news reports, Ethan. Every cop in the country will be hunting you. They say you're the origami killer. Is it true? Are you the killer, Ethan? Are you the origami killer? Confide. That's what I did last time. I remember my decisions. I... I sometimes have these blackouts. Times where I don't know what I'm doing. As if I'm someone completely different. The only thing I remember afterwards is the bodies. The bodies in the water. Why are you hurt, Ethan? Why were you in that apartment? I think my other self is testing, testing my love for Sean. He wants to know if I love my son enough to save him. That means there's some part of me that knows where Sean is. The only way to find him is to go through these trials. Why can't you tell that to the police? And tell them what? That I'm a schizophrenic who drowns his victims and has kidnapped his own son? They'd never let me go, and I have to stay free to save Sean. I have no choice. I'm his only chance. When Sean is out of danger, I'll turn myself in, but not until then. You can't keep going like this. You're destroying yourself, Ethan. 
Finding Sean is the only thing that matters. There has to be another way. You don't understand. Time is running out. Sean will be dead in a few hours. I have no choice! Please, Madison. Leave. Forget everything that's happened. There is nothing more you can do for me. If you want to help me, leave. Leave me to do this on my own. Yo, if the schizo, for, the schizo thing isn't legit, I'm very interested in finding out how they're going to explain everything. It was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine. Thank you for the retweets, Janzer and Symbiotic. What the heck? Wait a second. That's not true. That was like... That was like two days ago. What happened? Someone give to me a subscription before. Wait, what? How does that work then? <laughs> what up, Chancer? Wait, what? Yeah, cause I was I remember when you subbed and then I didn't get a like a notification, so I was all confused. I was like, what the hell was going on? And then like it's popping up now. So so weird. Uh, wasn't these devs the same ones that made Detroit? Yep. Uh, Detroit, Indigo Prophecy. What was the other one? The, the one with the ghosts. Late as pick. I didn't sub back then. That was Graham gifting me. And then I just subbed the other day. It's kind of, it's weird though how it pops up now. Yeah, Beyond, beyond Two Souls. And that's the one. So we haven't played Beyond Two Souls yet. Uh, we played Indigo Prophecy. Thanks to the homie. Uh, 109 Volts. Uh, Detroit I have on my wish list. I'll probably play it at some point. I heard it's really good. I've had it on my... I mean, I've had it on my like wish list even before it came out. Sean. I'll find you, Sean. I swear I'll find you. Yo, is it just me? So when I was playing this yesterday and I do this inner my uh inner dia dialogue stuff, uh when I went and listened to the VOD to check my volume, I noticed that every time they talk in this, there's like an echo. Does it sound like that to you guys too? It's it's really weird. But it, when I'm like listening it uh listening to it now, there's no echo. So it's strange to me. So I don't know if it's because my, my monitor doesn't have surround sound or some crap like that, but there's no echo sound. The box. I have to open another origami figure. I don't have much time. I've got to find my son before it's too late. You know, this was free on PSN store a while ago. <laughs> was it? Whoops. Whoops. Someone mentioned it sounding robotic. Oh, really? Whoa! Hello, Fizzbon TV with the sub. I recognize your name. 
What? Why is Twitch messing with me? Is that is is that legit too? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. I'm confused. Someone mentioned it sounding robotic. Really? I guess I must have missed it. I wonder if Detroit will be as well. Good? Oh, free? Probably in like 10 years. I can't wait till my time is done with. I don't have to plot like any normal mental stable adult would do. That's right. To me, adds to the whole David Cage thinks this is humans. <laughs> hey, man. Thank, thank you so much for the sub. Um. I don't know if we've ever like talked, but I I completely recognize your name. I know that you are friends with friends, which means that we should be friends. Is that weird? Hope I'm not like scaring you. But thanks, dude. That is very nice of you. Let's friends. All right. Twitch, twitch, fist bump, twitch high five. Man, he's been through a lot. Oh, wait. I got you. I got you. Oh, what did I do? Let's go to the bathroom. So I actually didn't play through this part. I thought I did, but I didn't. Yeah, yeah, I I've heard of your name through uh, Janzer, and I think uh, Dryads mentioned you too before. Uh, I don't know if I've ever uh, I know you stream, but I don't know if I've uh, ever been to your channel. But let me make sure that I am seeing your name pop up if you ever come on. Hold on. Uh, Alright, there we go. Alright, now we gotta wash our hands for once after taking a piss. I'm telling you, this dude is so un unsanitary. And thanks for the follow also. I'm not for for whatever reason I don't get notific follow notifications nowadays. And we died. Alright, let's sit sit down here for like the fourth time. Are you prepared to kill someone to save your son? Brad Silver, 6784 Longway Road, uh, Lexington. Kill him. Send a picture. Get your reward. Alright. I feel a lot more comfortable cutting my finger off, but killing a dude, not so much. Oh, yeah, no problem. No worries. No, uh,. No twitching and driving.
Look at him with his fancy Google Glass. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dude, I'm so good at piano. We have died, but we died together. I try to shield you guys from Your fire. Vodka, sir. Thanks. You look preoccupied, if you don't mind my saying so. Problems with the investigation? Blake is convinced that Mars is the killer. Not you. I thought there was some evidence to that effect. That's true. But it just doesn't make sense. His psychological profile doesn't fit. Neither does the geolocalization. I can't see this father drowning eight victims before kidnapping his own kid. That's what I'm Mars saying. Is not the origami killer. I'd stake my life on it. Then who is? I haven't the faintest fucking idea. Wow, yo, language, Maybe you please. should review the evidence in your possession. That's just what I was thinking of doing. Oh, one last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in you-know-what. It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. What is he talking about? I'm trying to keep a handle on it, but... The vodka? That's difficult. It gets more and more difficult. It'll end up killing you if you're not careful. That would be most unfortunate, sir. Why did you shield people from my fire? No, I was just shielding you guys from fire. I mean, from the rat scorpions, from the scorpion poison. Yo, this is not my background. I picked the the force. What is going on? This is not my environment. I mean, I guess I don't I guess I don't need to change it. All right, let me pull out my plug. For some reason when I shake the controller a lot, when I'm when I have it plugged in, like it turns off. I don't know why. Okay. Um the the clues clues? Oh wait, my controller turned off. <laughs> clues? Well well. Looks like there's something new. The video recording from near the park on the afternoon Sean Mars disappeared. I doubt there's anything on it, but you never know. So, do the ones with the, like, the circle things mean that I've already looked at it? Yeah. Okay, analyze surveillance data. A Chevrolet model corresponding to the tire prints passed at 1602 heading for the park, when in the opposite direction at 1637. That could fit the time that Sean Mars disappeared. Could it be the killer's car? Hmm. <laughs> it was a Chevy Malibu or something like. Wait, was it a Malibu? I don't know. I don't think it matters. I mean, of course it matters, man. Sean. <gasps> okay. Uh, let's get out of this. And then we'll look at the uh, files. Anything new? I think we've already seen this. 
Wait, unless there's something within the uh, the files. Hold on. So high tech. I know this is uh, this game was like before its time, man. Augmented reality. Uh, origami killer. Lotus operanda. Operanda. Analyze. The killer is white, aged between 30 and 45. He is intelligent. I've already heard calm, this. And determined. An organized type. He has a car. He's probably employed, but his work allows him free time. Alright. Done with this. Uh, map. Uh, clues. <clears throat> no, we just looked at the clues. Ah, uh, pity we can't see the driver's face. Apparently, I didn't see this. Oh, it is a Malibu. The car was stolen. Let's see. A certain Jackson Neville was suspected of stealing it, but the charges were dropped. Not enough evidence. Okay. All right, we're done with this. Uh, how do I get out? Uh, investigation? <sighs> Clue. Anything. Oh, I'm sure it's staring me in the face. face. Lucky bastard. Another few seconds and I'd have seen his face on the video. Alright, how do I leave? I can't. Wait. I can't leave. Uh... Clues again? I guess we can look at all this, the stuff. I, I don't know what. Geo analysis. There's only one. Or well, never mind. That was the or origami store. Uh, ID card? I don't think I saw this. Jackson Neville, AKA Mad Jack, involved in several cases of buying and selling stolen vehicles. Considered to be very dangerous. This guy might have provided the killer with a car. It's a pretty slim lead, but it's all I have right now. All right, Jackson Neville. Wait, I thought we were playing the piano. What happened? Uh oh. Oh, one last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in the water. It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. Shit! It's... It's coming! Tryptocaine. The tube is on the bedside table. All I need is to take some, and the pain will go away. I should resist. This is gonna kill me. I know I can resist. I just need to stay in control. And, and do something until it goes away. All right, if we can, we're gonna try to resist it. I'm not, oh, I'm supposed to keep hitting the button. This game is so low tech. 
I mean, the game itself is kind of old, but dude, you got you have to admit that glass technology is is pretty dope. Uh, unless you have something like that already and you're not sharing it with the world, huh, Kasune? Oh, Kasune? Why you no share with Why you no share with us? I saw that they have better technology in CSI Miami. No, what's up? Am I just supposed to keep doing this or like, I don't know. Going towards it. Stop. We must resist. A shower, a cold shower will cool me down. Oh, okay. I can actually control where he's going. My bad. My B. You aren't part of a secret high event civilization that's like the less murdery brotherhood of steel? No. They rejected my membership. <laughs> Wait, can I get up? No. Wait, I didn't get to take a shower. I was looking forward to seeing my second pair of butt cheeks. Trophy earned detox. Thursday, 11 10 a.m. Manfred? Manfred! Manfred! Anybody Approves home? my decline membership. Thanks, man. I don't think I can afford the power armor, though. It is 11.09. Alright, uh, shop. Nothing much changed here. Just the dust and the clocks ticking on and on. Lauren? I was crazy to let her come with me. She's trying to help out, but she just gets in the way. I'll have to talk to her later. Kramer. What was that meeting with Charles Kramer at the golf club really about? Why is he so worried about me investigating his son? Alright, let me see. What is this? Got some typewriters. So apparently the letters that they've been receiving like the people, for some reason, the family of the uh, kids that got murdered, uh, they received letters that were like typed out. So that's why we're here. Let's see if this guy knows anything.
Okay. Build my own 250. I'm going to use a uh, Aluminum foil. Oh, all right, there's the man, Fred. So since we found him, we're going to snoop around. Excuse me. Hi there, Manfred. Who is it? Scott. Scott Shelby. Do you remember me? S Scott? This is Scott! Oh, yes, of course. Well, good to see you. How long has it been? Oh, about ten years, I guess. Oh, at my age, time means nothing anymore. I, I repair clocks, but I try to forget about time. <laughs> How about you? Are you still with the police? Oh, no, I quit. I'm a private investigator now. Uh, this is Lauren. She's a, she's a friend. Hello. She's a hooker. Hello, young lady. $50 for 10 minutes. Well, this, this calls for a celebration. I've just the thing. Wait there. I'm sure I, I saw a, a bottle of scotch around here somewhere. You think anything changed because... Do an old man a favor, would you, Scott? Tell them to call back this afternoon. Sure, There's no problem. problem. I mean, it's true. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, this is Manfred's. He's not available right now. Could you call back later this afternoon? Thanks. And I mean... Seeing the place that we're currently at, I'm guessing it's gonna be exactly 10 minutes because I'm pretty sure she's gonna be able to tell the time. Manfred. Nice to see Manfred again. Just like old times. Well, to old friends. Yeah, the ticking. Letter. I'd like you to have a look at an envelope. I thought maybe you could tell me about the typewriter that was used to type the address on it. Well, let's have a look. Now, could you pass me the uh, magnifying glass from behind the counter, oh, sure, please? I'll get it. My eyes are beginning to fail me. Well, am I doing something? Oh, I can move. Is that the phone again? Why is it showing it? Oh, magnifying glass. Stop it! <laughs> Stop doing that! See what this envelope has to say for itself. The Royal Five. And yes, the shape of the T's and the F's is typical of that model. Produced between 1907 and 1924. No doubt about it. It's a Royal Five. 
Oh, the Royal Five. Uh, rare? These typewriters, are they rare? No, no, they're fairly common. I'd say many folks have one gathering dust in an attic or in their cellar. Uh, repair? Are there many places around that could repair one of these? I bought the company's entire stock of spare parts for a song in uh, 64. Well, they were going to take them to the dumpster, so I got the lot. <laughs> well, anybody around here who has one that actually works has been to see me at one time or another. Clients. Do you keep a record of all your clients? Oh, yes, indeed. Well, at least the ones who pay. <laughs> Any chance I could get a peek at that? Well, yes, of course. I keep my account books in the office. Uh, if you're not in a hurry, I have a list of all the clients who ever bought a Royal Five or, or had one repaired. Yeah, that would really help us out. Hmm. Delighted to help. Give me two minutes, and I'll be right back with the list. Dude, I love, like, detective-type games like this. You think the killer's been here? If he has a 1920s typewriter, he may have needed Manfred's services to get it fixed. We'll know when we get the list. The uh, only thing is, I'm not sure how much I'm supposed to be focusing on the clues and whatnot, or if the game just kind of plays out on its own. What if you're already insane? Then you'd be like her. But every time I see uh, clocks like this, I don't know if you guys have ever seen the movie Hook, but there's a scene. Been a while since Manfred went into his office. We're like in a Let's room a with a bunch of uh, like cuckoo clocks and stuff in it. Hello, Manfred. Hello, your call is locked, sir. Whoa! The what the heck? I need to know who you are, sir. Sir. Hello? What happened? Did he just fall? <gasps> oh my god. He's dead. Uh. But then we would have heard something. What the? Poor old man. He didn't deserve to go like that. Mad friend. No. Scott? <gasps> oh my god. What are you doing? I'm calling the police. The killer has already called the police. I think he wants us to be a scapegoat. We gotta get the hell out of here. What do you mean? We have nothing to do with his death. We were just here when it happened. Look, we're running out of time to find Sean Mars. The last thing we need is 24 hours in a police station explaining this whole thing. Well, so what do we do? Dude, she touched the phone. Fingerprints. Watch the front door. I'll get rid of our fingerprints from everything we touched since we there came we in. There we go. You better work fast. The police are going to be here any minute. Oh no, I gotta pay attention to all the stuff we touched. Oh crap. What are you doing, Lord? If someone comes in, we're going to be in trouble. These are Manfred's account books. He must have been looking for owners of royals when he was killed. Forget it. We gotta get out of here fast. Please, no time limit. Quick. Gotta find everything Lauren and I touched since we came in here. The phone. I'm using a baby wipe. Objects. What do we leave this? Gotta remember. Fast. Lauren. Don't forget to clean Lauren's prints too. Don't want her to be mixed up in this. Objects. Glasses. Telephone. What else? This phone. Yo, guys. 
Need to remember, points the foul. I don't remember actually touching the glass. I just remember looking inside. Touch, huh? What did you touch? Oh, wait, the door, the door, the door. Right? We closed the door, right? Woo! This is like the action I hate the most. Anything that has to do with shaking your controller. The police will be here any second. I'm almost finished. Wait! 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 Oh snap! Oh snap! Just wipe everything! Yo, just wipe the entire store! I think after this one we can leave. Alright, let's double check, double check, double check. Come and bounce, come and bounce. Uh oh, let's bounce, let's bounce, let's bounce. We're running out of time. Gotta move faster. Police will be here any second. Gotta get out now. That's it. We're done. You get all the prints? I think so. Should be enough to prevent them from fighting us. Go ahead and step over, we're wiping everything. So, the, the old guy we were meeting here, he died. Apparently, someone came in and murdered him and then called the police to frame us, so we had to wipe all our prints and not home. get caught. It's getting way too dangerous. No way. We are partners, remember? We had a deal. Reason. Listen, Lauren, I know you want to find the killer, but you're not helping me by putting yourself in danger. I'm not a child. I know what I have to do. I've got to find my son's killer. You're not going to stop me. Annoyed. You're going to be a good girl. You're going to go home and let me get on with my investigation. Stop the car. Stop the fucking car! Yeah, I almost messed that up. Every time I have to do this, I, I basically have to move my extend my arm all the way to the like right and then do it, or else I'll hit my mic. Oh, uh, no problem, Janzer. I mean, sorry you gotta go, but I mean I understand. But uh, thanks for for hanging out for a bit. Uh, the, the, uh, protect. Crap, I have no choice. I guess I'm doing this to protect him. Understanding. I can't just leave her like that. She'd do anything to find the guy who killed her son. Uh, remorse. It's all my fault. I should never have let her come with me. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, I get it. But, yeah, you can, um... Yeah, check the VOD. I'm glad you actually like the game. Like, that makes... This girl stubborn as a mule. As, as cheesy as you it sounds, like, with that makes without. me happy. <laughs> Excuses. Such an idiot. I better catch up with her. I mean, in a way, I guess it makes sense to know what happens, because Laura. if you don't plan to play it, like, you might as well, like, follow through, right? I mean, that's how I would feel. Because it's like, if you don't want to know what happens, then, you know, like, you don't ever want to watch it, and then you'd want to play it one day, but if you're like, oh, well, I miss him. I miss him so much. I'm going to play it vicariously. 
do anything to hold him once again in my arms. Uh, shelter. Damn. <laughs> Yo, she's huge. What a nice guy. I like, I like this character Thursday 11:15 a.m. <sighs> I'm still dude, I'm still not really sure if I I'm going to follow through killing this come on, guy. Think of Sean. Think of Sean. I didn't come all this way just to stop now. I've got to go through with it. For Sean. He opens up, I shoot. I get the hell out of there and I don't look back. I never used a gun. How hard can it be? All I have to do is pull the trigger. I can't just kill a guy in cold blood like that. Kill a man. I'm gonna kill a man to save my son. Yeah, what if... What if they open the door and it's like a kid or a mom? Let's hope he's home alone. Don't look him in the eyes. Just shoot. Shit, I can't. I can't. I don't know what to do. I can't shoot right away. Dude, I'm gonna be so conflicted. No, nope, let's shoot him. Oh, fuck. I said a thousand times that I don't want any trophies in my door. If you want to score, man, you gotta fucking call first. Come on. Beat it. Wait! <laughs> I was pushing the buds! man huh keep cool <laughs> what do you want dope money tell me what you need I'm sure we can make a deal huh oh god i'm gonna blow your brain out you son of a bitch who's that you think you come into my house and steal my dope you're gonna shoot up in hell motherfucker Why does he need shoot? Self defense. I just wanted to buy cocaine. This dude is like a terrible shot. It's a freaking shoddy too, man. You don't even need to aim it. Oh, you, you're, you're fucked, man. You're about to get shit on. I give you whatever you want. Got dope? I got cash? You, you want some dope? Give me your clothes. Please. Your boats. Please don't kill And your motorcycle. I got children. These my girls, see? This one's Sarah. And a little one. That's Cindy. Please, man. I want to see them again. Please. Please don't shoot. <laughs> I don't know what to do! <laughs> Hold on, we gotta think about this. Let's let's think logically, okay? Is shooting this guy really gonna bring my bring our my kid back? 
I don't know, man. There's like something else going on. I think he's his mind is just trying to justify doing all these things to make up for what happened to his kid. Like, oh, I was gonna say his original kid, but the second kid. <sighs> but then you're saying if we shoot him, it'll bring his kid back. Man, but it's like I'm trying to like thinking logically. I mean, how? How? Death will bring the kid back. <laughs> somehow. Somehow. I don't I don't, I don't know. Okay, on the other on the other hand, what what if not killing this guy makes us finally like realize that we have to move on. You know what I mean? But then it's different because we had two kids. If it was one kid, I get it. Because, I mean, maybe uh, the first kid died and we don't have another kid. So all this stuff is all mental and it's just a way of coping and moving on. But he actually lost the second kid. So I don't know how that... I don't know how how that is logical and then at the same time this guy has a picture and he's you know he, he's he's showing us a picture of his kids now he has two kids well actually we're in a like a kid's room we are in a kid's room so if he's lying I don't think that he would try to fake it by creating a fake kid's room Yeah, um, this guy, what was his name again? Ethan uh, Mars. He has two. He has two kids. I, I don't know. Like I don't know if I should say too much or you don't mind. Well, actually, I kind of already, I kind of already said stuff that ruined it. Just steal his kids. I mean, they looked kind of cute. You don't mind? I wonder if we wait how long this goes on. I can't shoot this man. There must be another way to save Sean. There's got to be another way. We're both fathers for Christ's sakes. I can't kill him to save my son. I love Sean. Nothing and no one is going to stop me from saving my son. The bastard tried to kill me. He was going to blow my head off. That's true. That's true. This guy is just a lowlife who sells dope to kids. What's keeping me from killing this scumbag to save my son? That's true. I don't know this guy. He means nothing to me. I have to shoot. It's his life or Sean's. Kill a man to save Sean. Could I look myself in the mirror after doing something like that? I'm not a murderer. I have no right to take this guy's life. He's got a family just like me. How can I take his life to save my son's? I can't kill him. I'm not a murderer. I've got to kill this guy if I want to save Sean. I have no choice. He's a drug dealer, just scum. He wouldn't hesitate for a second if he was in my place. If I, I mean, pull the you trigger, in I'll house be taking with this the man's life. Well, I'll be yeah, killing a defenseless man in cold blood. So what are you trying to say? Are you trying to say that I should just shoot him now? <laughs> okay, let's think of the pros. We might get our kid back. He sells drugs to kids. He's a, he's a, I mean, he's a drug dealer. He's a criminal. Um. <sighs> the 
Now I don't know. I'm I'm really conflicted right now. I see the issue. I'm looking around the room. There's a bunk bed. <sighs> Maybe it's not a kid's room. Maybe he had, maybe he's like a pedo or something. <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm trying to like just make stuff up just to give ourselves a reason to shoot him. <sighs> We're thinking of this too logically. The game has to continue regardless. So if you kill him, I doubt we'll get the kid. And if we would get him, we would get him if we don't. And if we would get him, if we don't kill, wait, wait. We're thinking, uh, if you kill him, I doubt we'll get the kid. No, but then we're supposed to kill him to get the kid. That's the reason we came to kill him. Like the, the so-called kidnapper or whatever, like the killer wants us to kill this guy. You know, he's basically saying, how far would you go to save your kid? Would you kill a man? So we got the address to come here. But if we don't shoot him, the killer could be like, well, you know, obviously you're not, you know, you're not willing to go far enough. He can be like, yeah, that's the most difficult part is, is whatever's happening like is it legit you know is there an actual killer telling me to kill this guy and he's legit holding my kid and and okay here is my biggest dilemma a lot of the stuff that happens makes no sense it's it seems like like a mental thing right like how is this dude sneaking into his uh his motel room every day and putting in a new message and telling him to do stuff. He wouldn't know, just tell him to go missing. I don't know, man. I feel like we're being watched. I don't think we should kill him. We don't have the right. In a way, it's... We don't have the right, because losing our kid was our fault we're like the only ones to blame i'm not gonna kill him i'm a father too but i'm no killer i would chop my finger off but i i don't think i would i would kill a dude actually we should have shot him because he's wearing shoes in his house Those kids are pretty cute, too. I'm not a killer. Trophy earned. Thursday, 1.32 p.m. Dad, it's Sam. I got your information. And the owner of the apartment in Marble Street is a Dr. Adrian Baker. He's a struck-off surgeon. They used to sell drugs to junkies on the quad. He made some cash and bought up some cheap-ass apartments, including the one in Marble Street. Of course, he got caught. He did a few months in prison and was struck off the medical register. Interesting. Thanks for the information, Sam. I owe you one. Hey, Matt. Be careful, okay? I'm on it. Talk to you later. Sounds very similar to the dude we just met. The owner of the apartment where Ethan was supposed to cut his finger lives here. Not much of a lead, but it's all I've got. What's that say? Cover? I'm gonna act all doped up. 
I hope he goes for the bait. Tactic. Gotta find some way to get him to talk about the Marble Street apartment. Alright. Hello. Alright, let's walk around his house first. Scope the place out. Alright, looks pretty creepy. That's it. Good home service! Hi. Uh, I was told that you could get Betropin. Without a prescription. Sorry, you were misinformed. Goodbye. Wait! Damn it! I wasn't I wasn't paying attention. I I I really need your help here. I can pay. Well, why didn't you say so? Please come in. Is he looking at our butt? So, you're looking for Betropid, my dear? Are you having trouble sleeping? How much do you need? I don't know, um, about three, four boxes. Well, no, that shouldn't be a problem. Would you like a drink? I was just about to have one. Uh, no. No, no, no. No, thanks. Well, alcohol helps take the edge off the pills, don't you think? Anyway, we should drink a toast to our first deal. Yeah, but this girl has balls of steel. Everything in this game is so sketchy. I don't trust anyone. I haven't seen you around here before. Wait, why? Why is she you holding it now? Um, you know, like, uh, vague. I can't remember. My brain's fried with all these pills. Can't tell Dave from night half the time. Um, uh, clients? Do you have many clients? A few. I help to ease their anxiety. Am my hands been off, thin enough, hard working enough? I reassure those who find the system too difficult. I'm like a safety valve that keeps society from imploding. No matter what we do, we can't be direct. No! Really? We have to ask. I heard you had some apartments oh. for rent. I'm looking. Sorry, darling. Those are all booked up. Shame. Why are you always I lying? Was looking for something around Marble Street. You're not drinking? Uh, no, thank you. I am, um, I'm, I'm not really thirsty. He feels insulted. I'll get your prescription. It won't be a moment. Wait here. Yeah, let's get up. The creeps. I better take a look around to see if I can find anything before he gets back. Oh, snap! Ah! Don't make a sound. He's near. The duck seems to be interested in property, amongst other things. Oh my god, I'm so scared. He seemed to be upset that I wouldn't drink. I get the feeling I did the right thing. Looks like he retired a bunch of medical supplies on his way out. 
There's enough sleeping pills here to knock out an army. Yo, it shouldn't take that long to grab a prescription. Oh god. Maybe a quick look behind those doors. I'll make up some lies if he finds me. Well, I don't know which room he went into. Quick. I gotta find something. I'm scared. Could the doc be the origami killer? Origami? There's something about the way he looks. He's gonna drug you and kidnap you. Oh God. Hurry, hurry. No. Stop! Controls, please! Please, 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 please! Please! Surgical gowns? I thought he stopped performing operations. Must be some kind of a weird nostalgia for the past. Yeah, where's the clothes and he was like right there? That shit would have been scary. He looked racist. He is old. That's old. The older you are, the more racist you look. Oh shit! Little ferret. <laughs> We're gonna have some fun together, my darling. <laughs> oh God! Ah, say hello to Matthew. He claimed he had come to the senses. Another one of those goddamn government spies. So you're interested in my Marble Street apartment? I rent it to my friend Paco, if you must know. I have no idea what he does there. Maybe that's where he fornicates with his dancers from the Blue Lagoon. <laughs> to be honest, oh my I don't God. give a damn. He's gonna cut me up. He pays his rent. He can do whatever he likes. But enough with the chit chat. I miss surgery, you see, so I take every opportunity to practice. I don't have any instruments here, so I use whatever comes Keep to screaming! Hand. I hope you won't hold that against me. Oh, oh shit! This might sting him. Please! No, 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 no. No, no. Oh my god. 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 Oh my have you ever as soon as you start to do a little housework, someone always comes. <laughs> I'll get rid of our visitor and be right back. Don't move. I won't be long. What do you mean, don't move? <laughs> Come on! Come on, fapping motion! Don't fail me! The Lord in the form of these magnificent oh, no. Bibles, which I will gladly leave with you in return for a contribution. Of only what is it? No thanks, I love it. Come now, brother. I cannot believe the word of the Lord is of no interest to you. We, this humble flock, should walk in this way for St. John and Seth. Uh, thanks a lot, but I don't need it. Oh no, he's coming! He's coming! Oh, oh snap! Holy scripture will bring you peace. No! Ah!
No! He was so slow. That was, that was, oh, that was close. Trophy earn, smart girl. Trophy earn, queen of ropes. Thursday, 2, 18 p.m. Man, wherever they live, like this city is messed up. He was looking at the booty. Dude, that's what I said. He was definitely looking at the booty. Wait, so did I leave my gun? He left his gun in the car, right? Why? Why you do this? You, you take the gun? Did you see what happened to the girl, man? She almost got raped. What if you get raped? Mad Jack is suspected of stealing the car I'm looking for. Might be worth asking him a few questions. Cuba trips came. Got it in my pocket. 24 hours. I've got less than 24 hours if I want to find Sean Mars still alive. Better have a word with the guy on the bulldozer. Mad Jack, a.k.a. Jackson Neville. This guy's got a criminal record as long as my arm. Better be careful. Blake wasn't in the office when I left. Don't think I'm gonna miss him. A scrapyard. Good a place as any to tinker with stolen cars. <sighs> Feeling sick. Got the sweats. Hands are shaking. Hope this works out all right. Knees weak. This Mom's is one spaghetti. fucked up sort of place. I'll question Neville and get the hell out of here. He's vomit on his shoulder. Mom hey, spaghetti. Cracker. What you doing in there? Hey, cracker. Racist. Nam and Jaden, FBI. Can we talk for a minute? What yeah. kind of cracker? Hmm. Club crackers. I'm Ritz looking crackers. for the owner of a blue Chevrolet Malibu 83. I don't give a damn how the car got here, whether you stole it or not. I just want to know who bought it from. Sorry, man. Don't ring a bell. I got a real bad memory. Perhaps I can help you to remember. If we find out that you sold the car to the man we're looking for, you're looking at some pretty solid time inside, Jackie boy. <laughs> you trying to scare me with your big talk? I never saw your damn car. Now take a walk. Chevrolet. The blue Chevrolet is my only lead. I don't trust this guy. Not much help, this so-called Mad Jack. He's either clean as a whistle, or else he's got something to hide. Alright. 
Google Glass. Wow. One sec, guys. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I mentioned this earlier, but today is going to be a short stream. And unfortunately, um, I got to go ahead and call it now. Uh, 7.47 p.m. Uh, we have been on for, I think, like an hour and a half. Almost an hour and a half. So, yeah, today was a really short stream. Uh, my plan was to be on by like three o'clock, but I got I got held up by like life stuff and at a certain point I was like, oh man, I don't think I'm gonna be able to stream today, but I got free um, like right around six and I was like, you know what, even though it's gonna be kind of short, I might as well just stream. I mean, even if it is for like an hour or something, but uh. I guess a lot of times I'm like, I think it's because in the past a lot of times I'm like, oh man, I don't have enough time to stream. I need a minimum of at least like two hours, so it's not worth it to stream. But I think, I feel like that's like not a good way of thinking. It should, I, I mean, I should always be like, yo, if I'm going to play any game for whatever amount of time, I should just be online no matter what, so... You know, people can can kick it while we play games and stuff. I know. I'm sorry, man. I remember you saying you're not you're not working today, so you'll be able to chill. So I know, my bad, dude. My bad. My bad. Yo, if I could, I would stream like 20, 24, 24/7. But wishful thinking. Actually, that's a little bit more than wishful thinking. Even if I could stream half, half of that, or, or uh, what is that, twelve hours a day? Even like half of that, or a third of that, was that eight hours a day? Yeah, even a third of that, I'd be happy with. But I'm sorry, man. <sighs> but um, yeah, tomorrow's Friday. And in most cases, I uh, would be saying tomorrow that I can't stream because uh, I won't have I won't have the chance to. Like I, I what was I gonna say? Yeah, like um, tomorrow uh, I won't be able to like stream during my regular time because I'll be busy. But kind of like today, if I do have the chance to stream, um, like after I'm done, um, even if it's for, you know, like an hour or like two hours, I'm going to try and do a stream. So not not at two o'clock for sure. I mean, not not even an hour later. Uh, if I do uh, pop in tomorrow, it'll probably be around... Uh, let me see, five, maybe sometime after five, I want to say maybe kind of, uh, maybe kind of similar to today, to today, so maybe six o'clock, something like that, but we'll see, maybe I'll be able to stream like six to eight, but I'll let you guys know via Twitter, I mean, of course, I'll, I'll let you guys know, um, at two o'clock, I mean, I'll, I'll set a reminder that you know I won't be able to stream tomorrow, but if I'm able to to pop in at like six o'clock, I'll, I'll tweet it out. <sighs> what up, Wazi? Yo, you caught me at a bad time. I I gotta, I gotta go, man. But thanks for for popping in. 
Um, what else? Yeah, so no regular scheduled stream tomorrow. Maybe 5, 6-ish o'clock. I'll let you guys know via Twitter. So Twitter, uh, you can always hit me up on Twitter or Discord. I mean, I have my Discord open. Uh, all the time so if I'm able to be in front of my computer I'll I'll see it um, but if I'm like busy I mean I'll always get back to you but uh other than that thank you guys I know like I said I know today was a short day but thank you for for watching lurking and listening today uh, thank you to everybody that stopped by and everyone that stuck around to the end uh, thank you for the follows and the hosts. Death Quan, Zod Zerk, DR, King Jalapeno, Watusi, Wobotron, Zcast, Puha, and everybody else that hosted throughout the stream. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for the sub today. Shout out to Fizzbon TV. Thank you for the sub, man. Uh, I'll make sure to check you out if I see you. Uh, I see you online. Um, but yeah. Uh, I appreciate it but uh, thank you everyone hopefully I see you tomorrow uh, if I don't see you guys tomorrow have a very nice weekend uh, and yeah I mean if if tomorrow doesn't happen weekends are always impromptu but I mean if that doesn't go down I mean for sure you guys should be able to see me on Monday I think next week one of the days i won't i know for sure one of the days i won't be able to cast i, I don't remember which day it is i think it's i think it's tuesday but i could be wrong anyways i'll i'll, I'll figure it out and uh let you guys know but yeah thanks again take cares enjoy the rest of your day i will see you guys if not tomorrow and not the weekend. I will see you guys on Monday. Peace.